You know, it's kind of against my better judgement to do this, but hey, this is what happens when you have no internet, is you record about a billion videos in one go, and then eventually you end up editing and, and putting them all up when you get the chance. So, hey guys, this is Game Cow. we are playing Production Central Super Mario World thing, and we start out with a golden mushroom, sure, and you are a thwip. Kind of a funky looking... <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool that it's a mostly dead desert, so everything is kind of... Kind of this way. I I do see what you did there. I was actually sort of hoping that my brick wouldn't run out, but it did, so... Unfortunately, that's what happens there. There is the not-so-hidden secret exit. Can you slight kill pokies? Yes, you can. It's just actually getting the slight kill to pull off. Something is going on down there in terms of earthquake building, and that's, uh, that's not a good sign for me. That is uh, quicksand? Not really, but hey, you weren't dead. Now you are. You're not dead either, I guess that's why this is the mostly dead desert, right? Is because not everything in here is going to have uh, committed suicide. Like that bullet there, that bullet is totally not dead, so... Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that, mind you, because I kind of wouldn't mind it being dead. But, hey, that is just selfishness on my part, right? Ow, bullets! Bullets, don't be like that. Oh goodness, you just kind of don't exactly know when to go down, do you? There we go, we are getting to kill all of these uh, skull forms here, which is quite nice. There's the midpoint. Wow, cool. Um, <laughs> must admit, I wasn't quite expecting it to be that easy. I didn't think it was going to be... Ah, I didn't think I was gonna not get back up there. I fully expected to... Oh, a respawning midpoint. I didn't expect that. Wow. Um, awesome. That means I get power up right from the start, right? And then I can get one from here too, right? Yes, I can actually. So, fantastic. Yeah, definitely a proof of being able to start the fire flower pretty much every time. You were a little bit frightening in theory, but not in practice in the end. So I wonder where the key is in all of this. That's my next obvious question, is uh, where art thou key bound object? Because I know where the lock is, except the key is nowhere to be found. I spotted you up there. Not hiding from me that easily. Oh well, it doesn't matter because we, yeah, as I said, we did spot it, so there was no need to quote-unquote panic, not that I did, but still. I kind of find it funny how they get bigger when they, uh, when they get hit. You know, the, the, the yeah, the, the, the tiny bony beetles, they're sort of, um, interesting that way. What's up here? Up here is a space for coins and power-ups, and pretty much death if you don't, if you go either side of one. What the heck? Blah? Black voidness? <laughs> That's a bit creepy, isn't it? You could get infinite fire flowers there. That's quite generous for this game. Uh, I have a feeling there was supposed to be something else around there, though. Or at the very least, there was supposed to be something regarding the whereabouts of... You really are making me do this at the very end, aren't you? What is the point of that? Like, why bother putting that at the very end? That just... Yeah, that pokey. That just makes no sense whatsoever, because... Why? That's extension for the sake of extension. Why couldn't you have just put those perils down the bottom and ignored the P-switch? But it made it so much better. I, oh yes! Full power! Oh, fantastic! Am I gonna get the five lives out of this now? I think I might just have gotten the five lives out of this now. I wasn't even going for that, but, um... Yeah, I think I just got the five lives. <laughs> I told you I had to be frame perfect, right? I think I got five lives out of that. I'd better have gotten five lives out of that, because I crossed a freaking five-life border there, so yeah. 
There is a secret exit in here somewhere. Key-wise. Don't know where it is at the moment, so let's take a look around. and we've just absorbed the skull in this key thing. Wow, that was really cool. The Sand Castle of Doom does not sound as cool, however. Yeah. No, I don't I do not want. Guess I'm going here instead then, because now we, we're gonna have the counterfort as an option. This looks like a terrible idea. Um, yeah, I have no clue if this is a viable thing or not. This sort of looks a little bit like, um, Kirby graphics, I guess. Um, not much, but a little bit. So I guess I've decided on going down the bottom route here. I don't know if that's necessarily something which is worth doing, but it's something I've decided to do, except now I'm in a bit of a blind thing, which is not actually that bad. I could go one of two directions here, and I see something down there, so I'm going this way. I don't know, that just seems sort of logical to me, right? You, you run away from your problems, you never solve them, you just run away from them. Yeah, I think I might be glad I didn't go down that way, except I, you did to... <laughs> oh, goodness, it's always, it's always brilliant when you manage to do stuff like that. I didn't get the run button to work there. Ah, oh, I can't go that way, so I'm going to have to go down here now. That does not fill me with confidence in the slightest, but it's okay because I managed to survive anyhow. That is how video games work. They're okay when you survive. They're not quite so okay when you don't. Uh, there's a lot of slowdown involved here. I don't know uh, quite what's up, but um, there's a lot going on in this whole vertical land of ours. Is there... Is there a power-up in that box? Who knows, because I just burned the freaking shell that was going to get me the power-up if there was one there. Let's find out now. Okay, let's not... Oh, there is one there. Yes, yeah, see, I was... I, I knew there was. Freaking fire flowers, they betray you. Oh, you. You... Uh, don't seem too bad to deal with. That's okay. So, so far so good. We're, we're kind of dealing with it at the moment. Um, I think that's about the best uh, best uh, descriptor for it. Dun, 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 damn it. Doesn't matter too much. I've still got a hit to take. Um, there might be something up there, but I don't know. I don't think I can get up there anymore, so let's casually ignore that that exists. And with... Ah, no! Now I don't have any hits to take, and I'm going to be sad if I die at this stage after coming down so far, because obviously there hasn't been any sort of midway yet. I mean, I don't know how long this is supposed to be, but I've been going down for a hell of a long time now, and that uh, scares me a lot. Guess I'm going this way, then. Oi, um... You are not in a good position, but I guess it's good enough. Thank you, door! Let's see progress. Where are we now? Not at the midpoint, but we are in layer 2 land. Which is good, I like layer 2 shenanigan stuff. They can be confusing, but I like them nonetheless. So, what's the deal here? Am I supposed to bounce off of uh, Pokey Face? Because I can do that if I'm not going to play like an idiot all the time. Please tell me I'm not going to die down here at this way. Jumping Bowser. Uh, d d pff, stay there! You are not jumping up here. No way. Oh, but I do I need you? No, I don't need you. Because there's a platform there. I saw you, Mole. You are not 
catching me out with your little moly shenanigans over there. Moles, you cannot trust him. Oh, that looks positively thrilling. Am I going to get crushed there? No, I am not. But I will get crushed if I... Oh, yeah, this looks a bit horrible now. Ah. Yeah, I... I don't know if I like this anymore, but it's sort of okay, Pokey. Please just fall down there so I don't have to deal with you. Thank you. It's going to be a platform that comes up there, and these two stakes are incredibly poorly timed for it. Huh. That's not good. Maybe. Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. And is that... That's it! That's actually it! I've done it on sight read! Oh my god, that is awesome! Wow! I, I bet there's two exits to this place though, because it sort of looks like the sort the level that it should be. You go up or you go down. But I freaking did it on... Yeah, there is definitely two exits now. I did it on sight read. Wow, that, that is brilliant. Oh god, I was not expecting that. Okay, then... We're now going to have to go the upper path and see what is up here. Because, obviously we've gone the lower route and that worked out first time very well. So, let's see what happens when we go through this one. Apart from almost dying in horrendously poor conditions, naturally enough. The problem with going up in this place is that, again, the, uh, the scrolling doesn't work properly. So, it sort of... Um, kind of... wow, it's doing the jump glitch an awful lot in the run, but it kind of has that issue where now I can't see what's coming as e you know, e even less than I could before. There's an extra life box up there, that's kind of cool. The form just kind of despawned on me, that's also pretty cool for me. Uh, not for the form, of course, because that means his life was so um, poorly terminated and poorly executed too, but uh, it's good for me, because that means I am obviously not going to get the extra life out of that. But yeah, that too, how do, is there a point box here? Yes, there is. Okay, that's perfectly fine then. I sort of expected it in the end, because how else could you honestly get up there? Um, oh, Fuuuuck, no, that's, that's annoyingly bad playing there, cow, that, yeah, I thought I could just get up there and all would be cake, but no, that is not how it works, so we're doing spin jump shenanigans here for a springboard on this side so that we can go up the other side. Sounds about right for what this game does to us. Um, question is, how do I get the springboard over there? I guess I can do that and it fails, so am I going to have to go back and get it now? Yes, indeed, I think. I hope. I really hope that it's respawned at this point. It hasn't respawned. Oh, shit. Um. <laughs> um. This ain't good. Because that means it's down here with you. Ah, yeah, okay. That, that actually turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And now... Oh, damn that. Now I can have to go back and get it again. But that's easily done. So I don't really mind. Let's actually grab it this time. And now that I've done that, actually, it makes it a lot easier to get here. So I could use it to go there. Or I could actually use a spin jump here. It's a bit risky, but it works, and I think that's what I'm supposed to do, because it looks like, yeah, I need the springboard up there, so, wow. Okay, that was scary, but it worked. What now? What now? We are on quite a roll here. We're managing to midpoint. Yes! Okay, we are on a roll here. This is awesome. This is glitchy as all hell. Um, yeah. Not quite sure what I think of all of that, Sparko. Can I kill you guys? Yes, I can. That alleviates the, um, the slowdown here, so... Thank you for being killable, I guess. It's a uh, bit of a morbid way of putting it, but... Um, yeah, such is the way of the little Sparky. 
I guess. Um, where are we going now? I'm gonna go this way, because there's boxes here, and boxes mean that's the way you gotta go. Except it's not, because there wasn't anything in the boxes that was useful. Coins are not that useful in this game, because they don't grant extra lives. So hey there, hothead, um, can you be killed by a shell? I don't think you can. But no, you can, so that's easy enough to do. Uh, yeah, can you kill a hothead with a shell? Yes, you can! Oh, wow! Awesome! Then I guess that's what I've just done, even though I have a fire flower and that makes it sort of annoying to do. I've done it anyway! I want to get up here, but it's actually kind of a legendly... tricksy jump. Uh, maybe I should go the other way. No, I can't go the other way, so I've got to go up this way, and this way is annoying. It's only annoying just because it's sort of, uh... Oh, shit. I was supposed to. Oh, no! I killed the dudes and I was supposed to jump on... Oh, no! Oh, you're, you're kidding me! I don't want to save state this, but... I need to be able to shell jump. And that's not going to be easy with, uh, yeah, because the fire flower makes this stupidly hard. Because um, I can do it right there. I'm sorry I had to do that, but I didn't, oh shit. What, uh-uh, Blue Yoshi? Uh, that can only mean one thing. We're going to have to fly through this. Yuck. Um, yeah, we are going to have to fly. Don't know if I like that as an idea, to be completely honest, because that red shell means that we cannot uh, spit this out and regain our composure, so good job that it was timed as it was. Yeah, I am really sorry that I had to save state that there, but um, it's a considerable thing when you didn't actually know that... Um, slow down! You didn't really know that you had to spin jump off a thing and you ended up killing them all and... Yeah, but it, if it would have been okay if the shell jump was not with a fire flower. Oh, I need to swallow you as well, don't I? Uh, let me... Yes, okay, good. I still managed to grab it just in time and... Not having a cape here makes this a little bit more difficult than it should be, but the controls are actually quite nice for that now. And I have to sacrifice the Yosha Man in order to get through here. Thankfully not having to sacrifice any hits as well. Oh, and boss time. Okay. What's the boss? Is it the Boo Guy? Because if it's the Boo Guy, that... Oh! What the hell? Boom Boom! What are you doing here? Seriously? What? I, I can't even freaking see where you are. That's not very nice. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh, pff, well, there we could have gone. Well, it's still boom boom, so it's still not really that hard as such, but it's trying to actually hit him is the difficulty here. Because, yeah, he's a little bit tricksy. No, don't jump out of the way of me. No, 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 get back here. No, 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 no. I am not dying to you. No way, good sir. I am not dying to you after going through all of that. Okay, the whole shell jumping thing kind of sucked. Hardcore. But if I'd have known, if I hadn't have carried the shell with... Game? What? Huh? No. No, what? It's not responding on me. What? No, that's... No, you can't do that. Oh, what?